today we're gonna talk about PixCap, the cloud-based 3D animation software. We already covered PixCap a while ago, but a lot has changed since then. So let's take another look and see what PixCap is all about. We're gonna address first the elephant in the room. When we talked about PixCap last time, it used to have a really powerful video to animation AI motion capture solution, which was the highlight of the tool to many people. Of course, it wasn't production ready by any means, but it was fun to play around with and use for less important or detailed or close up shots or even a starting point for animation. However, after doing some digging around, I found out that the team pushed back the AI motion feature, so we won't be able to use it, for now anyway. But for animation, it is still the focal point of PixCap. The company supposedly conducted a survey and discovered that AI motion capture wasn't precise, users were only using it for entertainment, and it wasn't suitable for any use case, especially in production, at least not yet. Therefore, the team is focusing more on illustration and UX and UI use cases and expanding their assets library to be good enough for production. So we're gonna talk about all the features and more stuff in the next videos. As you might have guessed, this video is brought to you by PixCap. If you want to learn more about this tool and get the advantages of an offer that is available through our channel, stick around till the end of this video. Generally speaking, PixCap is a design and illustration software that is browser based, which means you don't need to install anything. You can use it right from the browser. It allows you to create ads, banners, games, web pages, landing pages, apps, AR and VR related content, and a lot more. It also includes a huge library of assets and models, templates and animations that you can easily apply to any character. Even though the AI mockup stuff were scrapped, it is still an extremely useful animation tool because it still contains features like the curve editor, IK, and animation library which are still there. Some of the advantages that PixCap has over competing 3D software are, for example, being much easier to learn. We know that every 3D software comes with a learning curve, however, PixCap's curve is a lot less curvier, meaning you can learn basically everything there in a short period of time. Not to mention that the software is entirely online and free, so you can access it anywhere, anytime, on any device. If it was up to me, I would like to see the mocap options alongside the new tools, because just recently, PixCap announced through their social media that they were able to secure a $2.8 million to seed funding to push the platform into new heights, so I hope they would try to build a better motion capture tool on top of the old one. PixCap can speed up your workflow tremendously if you know what you need and you want to build something really quickly. For example, on the last update, the team added a previewer for making a quick edit. This will allow you to easily change things like colors, lighting, materials, and camera angles. In addition to the ability to easily rearrange objects with just few clicks and just as easily export your projects as an image, GIF, or video. PixCap isn't just for beginners, because professionals can take advantage of it too. The developers enhance the 3D editor with additional features such as 3D text, post-processing such as glow effects, camera preview, and the ability to import scenes into the editor for more granular customization and much more. PixCap also supports collaboration on projects with other 3D designers using PixCap's project share feature. So if you want to work on a team, or need some help, or you want to collaborate with other people on something, or on a particular project, this will be as easy as sharing the link with other people. PixCap's interface is fairly similar to all the DCC software out there, like Max, Blender, Maya, and so on. So if you are familiar with one of those, you should feel right at home. The navigation and shortcuts are really similar as well. The interface is divided into multiple sections. There is the 3D viewport in the middle and panels on the left and right of the scene outliner, which houses a list of all objects, assets, and rigs in your scene. And the inspector, which will change to reflect the parameters of any selected object. You know, basic stuff. And similar to all 3D software, you've got your control gizmos. Also, the universal shortcuts still apply here. As well as a bunch of useful controls for perspectives and a menu to add new objects to the scene. At the bottom, you got your animation controller, where you can play, move forward, or rewind your animation. Right next to that, you can see a small hand icon that is the finger widget, which allows animators to work faster when animating fingers. 
It's basically a finger controller where each finger has a slider that you can control and animate instead of trying to fiddle around in the viewport. Finally, at the very bottom, you can see your timeline and if you click the graph editor button at the bottom left, the panel will expand revealing, well, the graph editor, as well as the animation layers panel. You got a menu bar at the top where you can import assets, export and share your work and all in all it is a tidy, simple and very effective interface. Sometimes the average 3D software gets wild and cluttered with a gazillion buttons and menus. Pixcap on the other hand seems accessible and easy to work with. Now that we know what Pixcap is all about, let's now get down to business. I'm talking about pricing. A lot has changed since last time. After one peek at Pixcap's pricing plans, I couldn't find studio plans or the credit system, understandably. So there are basically three subscription plans at the time of making this video, but only two that you can see. The third one is labeled contact us. So if you have a studio or you want to use Pixcap in a more specialized setting, you can go ahead and contact the Pixcap support team. For the second option, you have the professional plan, which you can pay either monthly or annually. For the monthly plan fee, you will be billed $14 at the beginning of each month, but for the annual professional plan, you will be charged only $9. Now the only plan left is the free plan, which is more than enough for most people. If you are wondering what's the difference between these plans, first of all, the free plan has fewer features compared to the other ones. For example, while exporting your animation as a video, image, or GIF, you will be stuck with the watermark on the export. On the other hand, the Pro plan offers access to all features, I mean those included in the free plan, plus access to premium 3D models and animation. If you want to try Pixcap for free now, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.